There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And the learning company presents us with Treasure Cove. Alrighty, we've got some uh, fairly happy, enjoyable music. We've got mouse support, and more importantly, we've got a smiling starfish that looks a little bit like a certain character from a later cartoon series. Once upon a time, the master of mischief was chased away from Treasure Mountain and fled across the Rainbow Bridge to Invention Island. To keep from being followed, he used the last of his magic gold coins to destroy the bridge and scatter its gems into Treasure Cove. On the island, he built a workshop for his magic tricks. Soon he discovered that Goobies, gooey creatures that live beneath the ocean's sands, were a wonderful ingredient for his magic. To suck Goobies from a sand into his workshop, the master of mischief invented the Gooby Tube. This time, the master of mischief's tricks had gone too far. The Gooby Tube is making holes in the ocean floor and the Goobies are leaking out and polluting Treasure Cove. Minnie the Minnow is sending out a call to the Super Seekers. Ah, maybe this is a series then. Only they can plug the Gooby Tube holes, collect the gems to rebuild Rainbow Bridge, and put an end to the Master of Mischief's hazardous pranks. Right. The adventure begins. Okay. Hit us with an adventure. Hello there. Enter new player name. Lonnie. Alright. Hi, I'm Minnie the Minnow. Hello, Minnie. As your guide, I will give you new player hints to help you play the game. Sounds good. So you use left and right to swim left and right. Up and down to swim up and down. Right. Okay. Uh... So, I'm using up and down. There we go. I guess I was at the uh, zenith of the seabed. Use spacebar to squeeze your bubble pump and catch sea stars. Haha! -ha. I see a bat ray. I see a sting ray. I see a blue spotted ray. How many rays do I see? Three rays. You are right! Your new clue is two. Okay, so these guys give us clues. Oh, I missed. Hey, I got one. Uh, that didn't do much. So maybe it's it's one clue per place. Enter. Uh, I, I don't think I, I want to pester those guys. Let's just carry on, shall we? There's another starfish. Come back here. Oh, it's got a range, right. So, you can fire the gun, but it only goes so far. I think you have to wander over to them, do you, to get the clue? I'm not sure. Let's keep going! Come here, you! Oh. Look out for goobies! Each time they slime you, you lose light energy. Swim around the goobies or use space bar to catch goobies in the bubble. Oh. Alright. And we appear to have wrapped around. Hey! Some clams have shells that are shaped like a circle. Their shells are round. You're right! Your new clue is orange. He seems very happy to give us clues. Press enter to shine your light and look for a gem or the puffer fish. Use your clues to decide right to orange. Hmm. This is where a grown man feels at a children's puzzle game. Two orange. Is that describing um Oh I hit the gooby thing, right. Whoops. Two orange. So we've got to look for something that's... There's two of them, and they're orange. Those do not look orange. I don't see anything down there, and I'm wasting precious light. Hey! 
Those two things are orange. Aha! You've found the pufferfish. When you're done looking for gems, find the gooby tube hole. Press enter to stuff a pufferfish in it and go to the next area. Okay, so what does a gooby tube hole look like? Hey, is, is that is that a gooby tube? No, that looks like somebody's domain. Uh, nope. Uh, did that work? Did it? I hope so. Something's happening. Hey! This seahorse has turned into a chariot for some unknown reason. And the music is triumphant. Alright, what's next? I think that's the entirety of the game, to be honest with you. So, uh, what is this game that I forget the name of? Treasure, Solvers, Cove thing or something? I don't know. It's a side-scrolling swimmer where you shoot little starfish things and there's a bit of RNG about them because some of them will offer you clues if you get questions right and others will not. The music is pleasant. Sound effects are in the right place. Honestly, it's not that bad to play. It's a fairly enjoyable little edutainment game for children. I don't see myself playing it, though I think some of the mechanics might be a little confusing for children. Having said that, it's nice that they put that much thought into the mechanics. A lot of games aimed at children are just like, yeah, whatever, just stick a teddy bear in there and have something very basic. It'll be fine. So yeah, kudos to this for trying something a little different. Not too bad at all. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, be they edutainment titles or other titles, I take on all DOS games. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. And if you can somehow stop the goober tubes, then you're probably one of my heroic patrons who are tremendous at saving the planet. Until next time.